how hated and odious this property tax is to the vast majority of our people. It is very appropriate that we meet outside Dublin Castle while the European Union establishment meets within because this property tax is a bankers and a bondholders tax implemented at the diktat of the Troika who said that tens of billions of private debt of bankers and speculators should shamefully be transferred onto the shoulders of the Irish people. This property tax is an integral part of the austerity agenda, which is nothing more than the process of transferring enormous wealth from ordinary working people in this country to the bankers, the bondholders, and the elites of Europe. At the same time, inflicting savage cuts in incomes and public services, destroying the domestic economy with mass unemployment and forced immigration. And let no one be fooled by the pronouncements coming out of here about the debts being put back for a few years. To lessen the intensity of economic torture but extend the years is not a solution in any sense. Our homes generate no wealth. They cost money to upkeep. A home tax is utterly regressive. At the same time, a few percentage points extra taxation on the 5% of the elite income earners in this state would bring in billions every single year, 10 times more than this burden on our people. But Fine Gael and Labour choose to protect the super wealthy at the expense of the worker, the pensioner and the poor and shame on them for that. We must meet this property tax with a continuing boycott that is nationwide, that is massive, that is deeply determined. We won't pay, simply is the message. Is the boycott futile because they have given the revenue powers for deduction from wages and pensions? No way, absolutely not. I say, if they dare, Force them to rob the money because if one third of a million householders, if half a million householders, if three quarters of a million householders boycott, we can make an administrative impossibility for them to collect this tax. That is the reality. There is a concern among ordinary people, of course, over the revenue. But remember this, the revenue is a creature of the government, that is, of Fine Gael and Labour. The revenue is no god, and the revenue can be resisted and force the political parties to have them stop what they are doing. Dear friends, Margaret Thatcher died this week. In her day, the media said she was invincible. She was the Iron Lady. She introduced a poll tax. But from the ground of the British working class, there came a massive boycott of the poll tax. 18 million strong with massive protests and relentless political pressure. And consequently, the, the invincible Lady of Iron finished up like a lump of rust being thrown out of power ingloriously and her poll tax was smashed. And our, our message here today to Fine Gael and Labour is this. They will finish up like Margaret Thatcher if they do not abolish this tax. Dear friends, let us keep them under relentless pressure at their clinics, at their offices, when they come to open stuff. 
but also is it not a logical extension of our campaign of political pressure that local campaigns should discuss putting forward slates of anti-poll tax, anti-property tax, anti-austerity candidates to challenge them in the local and European elections next year and to wipe them out in the local and European elections next year. Dear friends, in conclusion, we should challenge them absolutely where it hits most and discuss this 